Hey folks, welcome. Have you ever found yourself manually adding options in Google Form that takes up most of your time? You see Google Apps Strip, you can automate this process saving up a lot of time. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add options in Google Forms using Google Apps Script. The example that we're going to be using in this video is as follows. There is a Google Sheet that contains the name of student, the ID and the roll number of the student. A feedback form needs to be created where the students will select their name, ID and other details. If the teacher goes to put in the details into the Google Form, it's going to be a long process and it's going to be tiring for the teacher. Using Google Apps Script, the options can automatically be transferred to the assigned question. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to be doing is going to our Google form and these are the questions that I've created. The name, the ID, the role number and the feedback that the student has to enter. So the next thing that we are going to be doing is the step 2 which is the most important step in this video. That is copying the question. So you need to copy the exact same questions and transfer it under the column where you want to transfer the option. So I'm going to paste the question here. I'm going to go to the second one that is select your ID. I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to paste it in here, go to this one, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste the question here. So select your roll number, name and ID. So this is how we have added the questions in the Google form. The next thing that we're going to be doing is writing the Google Apps Script automation script. So I'm going to go to tools, I'm going to click on script editor, it will open up a new script editor. If you want to work with the Google sheet and the Google form, I'll be leaving the link in the description, you can work with it. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is declaring our sheet and form ID. So I'm going to be creating a new variable using the const command and I'm going to do sheet ID equal to and I need to open the quotes here and I need to paste in the Google Sheets ID. So it's going to start from the after the slash D slash and just end before slash edit. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it in here. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is getting the form ID so that we can paste in the options for the required question. I'm going to go here. It's going to be the same one before the this and right before slash edit. Copy it, open the quotes, paste it in here, put a semicolon and we are done. The next thing that we're going to be doing is creating a function uh, for the menu. So we're going to be using menus to run our Google Apps. Trip. So after the teacher has added the question, he, the teacher needs to just go click on the menus and run the code. What we're going to doing is creating a new function called on open. And open it, close brackets. And here we're going to be creating our new variable called const UI. And here we're going to be using the spreadsheet app to get the UI so that we can put in the menu. Next thing that we're going to be doing is creating the menu. So we're going to pre create menu. Here you just need to put some text here that's going to say custom menu. And then now we're going to be adding the items that is the name of the menu followed by the function that you want to run. So we're going to be doing add item and here you need to first specify the name of the menu that is going to be add options and put in a comma and now here you need to specify the function that you want to run as soon as the teacher clicks on the menu. So we're going to do main that we're going to be creating. The function for main we're going to be writing in a few seconds after we create the menu. Here I'm going to be doing dot add to UI. So the menu will get added to the Google Sheet. Now let's go ahead and start writing the code for the main function. So create main, close it, open it up here. And the first step that is going to be doing, we're going to be opening the Google Sheet. Now, so since we need to access this data all over the script, I know I'm going to be creating two more global variables, constant data, where I'm going to be using the spreadsheet app going to open the sheet open by id and i'm going to pass in the vari id variable that we created and i'm going to be getting the sheet by name so the first sheet that we have here is sheet one if you want you can name it something else so we're going to go here paste it here we are done so here we have got all the data that is present in the sheet one the next thing that we're going to be doing is doing the form we're going to create a variable called form and here we're going to be doing the form app dot get so it's going to be sorry it's going to be dot open by id and once again we're going to be passing the form id that we created here we're done now we're going to be going into the main parts of the code we're going to open the main function and here we're going to be creating a variable called labels and in this one we're going to be doing the data 
not get range. So we need to get the rows and the columns here. Before we before we write in, we need to create some fixed variables for the rows and the columns. So I'm going to be creating a few variables here. So here you can see I have created four variables that is the start row index, the start column index, the number of rows and the last column. So we're going to be starting from the first column from the first row and it's going to be the number of rows is going to be all of these until the values end that is going to be the 11th one and we have got it from the last column. Next thing that we're going to be doing is passing these variables in the get range function. So I'm going to start by the start row index, we're going to start from the row, then we're going to be doing the start column index. Next, we're going to be passing the number of rows that we want to use. Going to be number of rows. And the last is going to be the last column that we need. And after we specify this, we need to get the values. So we're going to be, we're going to be using the get values function that we have. Since there will be multiple options for each question, we'll have to go through each of them. Using the for each function, we're going to go through each of the options for each question in the for each function. So we're going to be creating a new part here and here I'm going to be creating a few more variables that's going to be. So now we're going to be opening the labels variable and we're going to go, go into a for each. Here we're going to be passing the parameters for label and the i so that we can iterate through. And here we're going to be using the arrow function and I'm going to be opening the brackets here. I'm just going to close the brackets here. And now we're going to be starting to write our course. Now we need to go through each of them. So we need to go the constant start. So the start row index that we're going to be having is going to be one, it's going to be i plus one. So that we, we so there are a number of options here. So it's going to iterate through after it is done with the first one. It's going to go to the second one, third one, fourth one. We've done that. Next, we're going to be creating a variable called constant options where we're going to be iterating and getting all the options for each question. So we're going to do data dot get range and here we're going to passing the start column index. Here we're going to be passing the start column index function followed by the start row index, start row index and then we're going to be doing the last row index. We're going to do the last row and in the end, we're going to be passing the last column index. Now here after we're done this we're going to be doing the get values function and we're going to close the brackets here and here we have successfully got all the options now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be calling a new function here where we're going to be passing these labels and the option so the new function that we're going to be creating is going to be update drop down or update mcq options so I'm going to be calling it and here I'm going to be passing the label followed by the options variable. Now we're going to be creating a new function called MCQ update MCQ options. So I'm going to copy it here, paste it here and I'm close the brackets. I'm going to open the curly braces and let's get to the code. Now what we're going to be doing is calling a new function. We're going to be calling it update MCQ title. We're going to be calling this function. And here we're going to be passing our label and we're going to be passing the options that we create we have got right now. And now we're going to be opening the same function here out. We're going to do function update MCQ title. And here we're going to be getting the values here. So here we're going to be writing in the variables that is title followed by values. I'm going to open the brackets here. And here I'm going to be creating a new variable called constant items and here we're going to be doing the form dot get items now we need to get we get we, we need to get all the data from the form so that we can assign the options for each question so we're going to do const and here we're going to be getting the titles and i'm going to be doing items dot map we're going to be going through each of them and the item here we're going to once again use the arrow function and here we're going to be getting the item dot get title so for each question for each question in the google form is going to get the title and store it in the titles variable now to get title i'm going to close it I'll close and hit save now 
Now the next thing that we're going to doing is getting the position for each question so that we can assign it to the correct question. So we're going to doing title dot index. I'm going to do, I'm going to do titles dot index of and then we're going to be putting in the question. So we're going to be getting the position for each of the questions. Next we're going to be creating another variable called item and here we're going to be getting the items, items and the POS. Oops, we did a mistake here. It's const and we're going to get the POS. So now for each question, the position, the question is here and the position is here. And now in the end, we're going to get the ID for each question so that we can put in, we can assign the questions there. So we're going to do item ID equal to item dot get ID. We'll hit the save. Now we're going to be creating all one last function that is going to be doing the main work. It's going to be update MCQ and here we're going to be passing the item ID followed by the values that we need to put in for each of the items. So we're going to do values close it. Now I'm going to be creating one last function. It is going to be function and the name is going to be update MCQs and here I'm going to be passing these variables that's going to be ID and vals open the brackets and here I'm going to create one last variable called const items so what we're going to be doing is const from items and here we're going to be doing the form dot get item by id and here we're going to be passing the id of the questions that we previously got and then we're going to be doing item dot as Now here we're going to do item dot as and here you have options whether you want it to be a checkbox, a date time question list. So for our example, we're going to be using a multiple choice item. So we're going to click on as multiple choice item. We're going to close the brackets and here we're going to be doing the set choice value. You can either say a feedback or you can just set choice values. To know more, I'll be leaving the Google form and Google Apps Script document link in the description. You can check that out. And here in the values variable, we're going to be passing the vals variable. And our code here is successfully complete. Let's go ahead and run the menu. So we're going to be doing the on open function. We're going to run and I'm going to click on run. And here you can see the execution has started and the execution is completed. So now we're going to go back to our Google Sheet. And here you can see that the custom menu keyword that we had given here has successfully come in. And if you open it, you can see the add options one. If you click on run right now, running script. Here you can see the finished script has come in. If you go back to the Google form here, you can see the name, the ID and the roll number has successfully come into your Google form. I hope you, li you like this video and I hope this, this video has helped you. I'll be leaving the code, the form and the Google Sheet link in the description if you want to work with it. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.